What's up? Good morning, everybody. I did thankfully make it back in time for the market open this morning, and I got two trades in. If you guys have been following along, you may know I'm having a really good month, uh, for me at least. As for some others, it may be very small, but for me, having a pretty good month and one of the best months that I've had in quite some time. So hopefully, I finish it out green today. We're going to find out in this video. Make sure you hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Next Wednesday is the only day I shouldn't be able to trade next week, and that's when hopefully I will have out the monthly recap video showing all the account statements and TraderSync stats and all that. If you want to use the TraderSync Trading Journal, there's a discount code down below for 15%. Use that link and the code and get yourself some. Hey guys, are you tired of using the same old stock market scanner and getting the same old results? Add some intensity to your trading with the Intensity Stock Watch Scanner. The Intensity Indicator is the only predictive price action indicator that alerts before significant reversals, allowing trade management with unprecedented timing and accuracy. Now with this exclusive link and code GDTISW, you can get 20 to 30% off every month on your subscription. It's time to finally get the results you've been looking for and intensify your trading with the Intensity Stock Watch Scanner. And Huma dropping here. Thinking about stabbing a little long grab. It is coming down towards a halt. See if maybe it hits 750 here. All right, I'm gonna grab 200 shares long here at 749 here in Huma. See if I can get a bounce. I'm gonna get 789. I think I'd be happy with that move. I'll put an order out to sell them at 789. See if we can get up there real quick. Order filled. All right, got it. So quick little win there and a Huma scoop long. Nothing bigger to write home about, but I'll take it first trade of the day. CZR. CZR Vaughn. Watching CZR. CZR here. Big move. See if I can get Order short field. here. Okay, I'm in 34.93, 200 shares. Might get into a halt here, but uh, big pop. Willing to see what it wants CZR. to do. Sixty-three. I'll look for the first, the first uh, half here. Waterfield. All right, beautiful. Going to take half right there. CZR. Down to a hundred shares. See maybe forty-three for another fifty. Carla can take stake in CZR. CZR. Asterisk icon. CZR. All right, if it gets up through 35.50, I'll look to add back in that 100 shares that I took off. Here we go. Is it going to get through 35.50? All right, going to add in there. CZR. Now back up to 200 at 35.22. Up through 36 for an add. CZR. All right, is it going to push through 36 here in CZR? Here we go. Adding in another CZR. 200 shares there. Now in 400 at 35.64. All right, here's 50. CZR. Watching it. We look for a little bit more. All right, Order here we go. Going to add in there. Now, 800 at 3616. 
All right, gonna break down here under my average. All right, I'm gonna take fell. half off there. Order so fell. we can come down a little bit further, just reducing my wrist down here on that cover. Still would like to see it back down under 36. I'm actually gonna put a stop in now over at 65. I'm gonna put a stop in at 65. Not gonna let it go against me further there. Looking for a move back down under 36. Order All right, gonna take off filled. half there. Order going filled. to reset now. Oop, tried to get another 100 there on Order that move filled. below. Okay, down to 100 here. So this trade didn't really work out how I would have hoped, but at least being able to get out of it here and try and bleed it down a little bit. Order filled. Take another 50 there. All right, all the way down to 50 shares here now. I'm actually going to trail this down here now. Won't get, let it go back up over 36 at this point. So I'm going to guarantee that this remaining 50 shares is in the money. But hoping that it continues down further. All right, my, all right, stopped out the rest there. So CZR didn't quite work out here how I wanted. Thought it was actually going to be a, a half max loss there for a minute, but glad it came down and got me out. Okay, so let's break down today's trades a little bit. First one was on Huma. I mean, that was a pretty good ECNX. setup. It had already extended pretty far to the downside. Then it made even a further extension, and it was a pretty big S move, especially for that price of stock. So got a little scoop in there, and it's a long. You guys know I'm not nearly as fond of longs as I am shorts. So was happy to take the quick, uh, what was that, 40 cents there and take the win and move on there in Huma. Then CZR popped up a little bit later. I actually thought I was going to have a nice win on the... Uh, very initial first entry. I thought it was going to continue down there, but it popped up a bit further. So you saw how it played out. It was going to, once it started doing this turnover, it was going to have to be stopped there over the highs. I might have given it a little bit more just because it was right under that like 37.50 mark. And if you look at the daily chart here, right around that 37.50 mark is where a lot of previous resistance came to. So that's pretty much right where it came up to there on the daily chart before it uh, eventually started turning back over. Once it started turning back over, it wasn't moving as quickly back down as I'd like to see, so I started covering once we got under my average, hoping it was gonna bleed out, but once it didn't let me, I just covered the whole thing for uh, a little win there. It eventually did do the big red candle a little, a little bit later on in the morning, but you know that's kind of what I was hoping and looking for, something like that, maybe not that uh, dramatic, but a candle like that quickly after the move is generally uh, more what I'd like to see. So hey, Finishing the month strong there with another $190 day, and this is now officially my biggest month in quite some time. So I think next Wednesday is when I will have the monthly recap review if you guys want to know how much I officially made on the month. Otherwise, hope you all had a great trading week, and I'll see you later.